Hello, Dragonfly Swarm. It is time to finally talk about the man, the myth, the Oni, Arataki Ito. He's one of the most unique characters in the game with a wildly different build strategy, team synergy, and kit than the majority of the Genshin cast, except for Noel, but whatever, my point stands. As a five star Geo DPS, Ito has a very high raw damage output and high damage potential when built, team comped, and played correctly. So today, I'm gonna go over everything you need to know in order to make Ito the strongest he can possibly be in 2.7. Think of it as a celebration for his rerun. I'm going to talk about his best combos and the intricate details of his kit, his best gear, constellation value, and team synergies, so let's just dive right into this. Starting off with a <clears throat> look at his kit. Ito's a very hard hitting yet agile claymore user and his attack talent is loaded with passive details. He can perform a 4 string attack with the 2nd and 4th hits of these attacks granting him a stack of what's called superlative super strength, and he can hold a maximum of 5 super strength stacks at any given time. Something unique to Ito is that using his skill, dashing, or otherwise cancelling his attack string won't immediately reset it, and if he attacks again quick enough, he'll just start where he left off on either the second, third, or fourth hit. Ito's charge attacks aren't at all typical to a normal melee user's charge attacks, however, and they actually make up a large chunk of his total damage. You see, when Ito performs charge attacks, instead of consuming stamina like most other characters, he consumes his superlative super strength stacks to perform his charge attacks as Kesagiri slashes, and upon consuming your last stack of super strength, Ito will smash the ground with a big final instance of damage. And I have two important notes regarding these parts of Ito's kit. The first is that you can keep track of how many stacks of super strength Ito has based on the giant glowing oni mask covering on his back. The other note is that if you attempt to charge attack with Ito and he doesn't have any stacks, he'll just perform a weak little spin. Singular spin, not plural. Ito's elemental skill will summon everyone's favorite bull, Ushi. Ito will toss Ushi onto the field, dealing a very large chunk of geo damage to any enemy's hit, among other things. If Ushi successfully hits an opponent upon casting, he'll grant Ito one stack of super strength and will also taunt enemies. When Ushi takes damage from these enemies, he grants Ito another stack of super strength, and he can gain stacks in this way once every 2 seconds. Then Ushi will leave the field after losing all of his inherited HP or once his duration ends, and leaving the field also grants Ito a stack of super strength. All in all, this skill allows Ito to steadily accumulate stacks for his slashes, which opens doors for quite a few intricate combos that I'll discuss in a moment. But first, the burst. Ito's burst converts all of his attacks to geo damage that cannot be overridden for a set duration. During this duration, Ito enjoys a normal attack speed bonus as well as a very large buff to his total attack based on his defense, and also during his burst, each of the four attacks in his normal attack string will grant him a super strength stack, as opposed to just the second and fourth hits. This ability is what incentivizes Ito to be built with a very high total defense, so that during his burst, he can enjoy a large buff to his entire kit's damage, but it also allows Ito to perform very strong and fast combos with his Kasegiri slash attacks, normal attack strings, and elemental skill. And I once again have a few notes that you need to consider when using this ability. Firstly, during this burst, all of Ito's resistances are reduced by 20%, so he'll be easier for enemies to whittle down if you're not careful. Secondly, Ito's burst only converts his defense into attack upon casting his burst, meaning you can't convert more defense into attack after casting it, for example, if your husk set stacks weren't maximized, and then you maximize them while he's already in his burst state. It's a snapshot ability, so whatever his defense stat was upon casting is what you gotta work with for the entire burst, so if you play that incorrectly, it could screw up your entire rotation. Ito's first ascension passive grants him some cool buffs when he performs multiple consecutive Kesegiri slashes. Each slash will increase the next slash's speed by 10%, and this can increase up to 3 times, for a maximum of 30% increased slash attack speed, which is pretty good. He also enjoys an increased resistance to interruption while performing his Kesegiri slashes. Ito's 4th ascension passive increases his Kesegiri slash damage by 35% of his defense, which once again just greatly incentivizes building defense on him, especially considering his Kesegiri slashes already account for such a large portion of his total damage output. And finally, for his talent priority, you want to level up Ito's attack talent first first, followed by his burst, and then his skill, keeping his burst at least close to the same investment level as his attack talent. Now, Ito's combos are very important to his rotations, and they'll differ depending on whether your Ito is C0 or if you've obtained C1. Starting with his most reliable C0 combo, I can't actually do it properly because my Ito has C1, which ruins the flow, but you'll want to do the following. Cast Ito's burst, then perform normal attack 1, followed quickly by his skill, then continue with his normal attack 2 and normal attack 3, then perform 4 Kesegiri slashes, the last of which will be his final smash. Follow that with another full N4 string, then a full 5 Kesegiri slashes, another Ushi skill, and then 
one final slash. As for C1, Ito gains access to a lot more combo strings, most of which do almost identical damage to C0 strings, they're just easier to pull off. There are some combos that net a worthwhile amount of extra damage, but they're extremely hard to pull off and require some RNG with Ushi's stack gain mechanic, so I'm gonna showcase my favorite combo, and possibly the easiest C1 combo because I am not mechanically talented. Cast your burst and follow that with normal attack 1, then your elemental skill, and as you're casting your skill you should already be holding the attack button so you can immediately jump into Ito's Kesegiri slashes, which most of the time you'll perform 6, to which you should follow with a full in force string and then as many Kesegiri slashes as you can perform after that, casting your skill again right as it comes off cooldown. That will leave you with about one more second of Ito's burst and you can just perform another NA1 or a Kesegiri slash if you have a stack, it just depends. Overall, Ito's combos are very flexible and your optimal combo wildly depends on the situation you're in. Moving on to Ito's constellations, or more specifically the value they bring to his kit, I actually quite like his, because you definitely don't need them, but they're great for quality of life and making him easier to play. At C1, Ito's burst will automatically grant him two super strength stacks upon cast, and after one second, he'll gain a stack every 0.5 seconds for another 1.5 seconds. As I brushed over earlier, it really doesn't do much for his damage per se, but it does make combo stringing far simpler, and if you're really a mechanical god, first of all, don't flex. Second of all, you'll enjoy this constellation because it does open doors for some stronger than usual combo strings in Ito's burst, they're just really difficult to pull off. At C2, Ito's burst will cause every Geo member in the party to reduce the cooldown of his burst by 1.5 seconds and restore 6 energy to Ito, for a maximum of 4.5 seconds and 18 energy. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know what I'd do without this constellation. Mostly just because it makes Ito's rotations a lot less strict on time, and you can technically get away with less energy recharge on him in favor for more crit or defense substats. But at the end of the day, this constellation doesn't directly do anything for Ito's damage or power level, so do with that what you will. C3 grants 3 extra levels to Ito's skill, which only increases the damage of it, but it sure is a lot of damage. At C4, Ito grants all party members, including himself, 20% defense and 20% attack for 10 seconds anytime his burst ends. This is actually really nice for Ito since his burst snapshots his defense stat, so you can technically catch the defense bonus on him during his second rotation, which will provide a considerable increase in his total damage output. At C5, Ito's burst gains 3 levels, which as you might imagine, considerably increases his total damage output because of his burst scaling and the defense to attack translation ratio. And finally, at C6, Ito's charge attacks now deal 70% increased crit damage and when he uses his Kasegiri slashes, he has a 50% chance not to consume any super strength stacks. It's really hard to say how much stronger this constellation makes Ito because of the RNG of the super strength consumption, but generally speaking, and I think this is pretty obvious, this constellation is a sh ton of increased damage output. The only issue with it is that it pretty much ruins his ability to perform combos and forces you to go full unga bunga bonk mode. Sometimes it'll pay off extremely well, but sometimes it won't be that much better than any regular Ito. Besides the crit damage bonus, of course. But overall, Ito's constellations are, I'd say, pretty fair. C1 and C2 are quite quality of life, which is really nice on a character who has so much damage potential locked behind combos and mechanical gameplay, and while anything above C2 is extremely unrealistic for most players, his later constellations do provide large damage bonus to himself and his team. Ito's artifacts are really straightforward because there are two sets that work noticeably better than any other combination of artifacts, the first and strongest of which being a four-piece Husk of Opulent Dreams. This set grants Ito large defense bonuses as well as geo damage bonuses on the four-piece passive, all of which he enjoys thoroughly. The only thing to note about this set is that you always want to try to have all four Husk stacks before using his burst so that it'll snapshot his highest possible defense at the time of casting. Overall, it's an amazing set that was pretty much designed for Ito, so as you'd imagine, he makes great use of it with only one other set coming in close behind it, that set being the 4-piece retracing Bolide. While not quite as strong as 4-piece Husk, the Bolide set does provide a nearly unconditional 40% normal and charged attack bonus, which is amazing for Ito, and it only requires that he be protected by a shield. So I'd say if you're using Serpent Spine on Ito and you have a reliable shielder, this set might be worth prioritizing over the Husk set because of Husk having a hard time cooperating with the Serpent Spine passive. Just note that your damage ceiling will be slightly lower overall with this set. And the only other combination I'd consider recommending besides these two is a two-piece Archaic Petra and two-piece Husk, and even then, I'd only recommend these as a placeholder artifact set while you farm for a suitable four-piece Husk or Bolide. But regarding Ito's best artifact stats, you'll want to focus a crit circlet keeping in mind the golden 1-2 to two crit ratio, a geo damage goblet, and a defense sands. You could 
technically use a defense circlet or a defense goblet as a placeholder if you're having a hard time farming the right main stats, but that should only be a temporary fix while you farm for the crit circlet and geo goblet. With substats, Ito enjoys crit stats and defense stats, but you also need to grab at least 130% energy recharge to comfortably cover his energy needs. This requirement could end up being lower or higher depending on how many geo members your party has, as well as if you have C2 Ito or not, but generally 130%. And then Ito can make use of attack stats, but they're far from priority, and HP and elemental mastery are just disgusting. Unfortunately, Ito's biggest downfall is that he really doesn't have a lot of weapon options, even as of 2.7, so I'm just gonna go in order from his strongest to his weakest options. In first place is his signature weapon, the Redhorn Stone Thresher, and it has a low base attack, but that doesn't really matter for Ito, and it grants a huge crit damage bonus as well as a great passive for Ito to make full use of based on his defense, even further emphasizing the value of defense. Surprisingly though, the only weapon that comes close to the power level of Redhorn on Ito is the 4 star Serpent Spine, specifically at R5, but even at R1, this weapon is amazing on Ito for its crit rate and high damage potential passive. And although the passive is very conditional, especially when paired with a 4 piece husk set, once it gets rolling it can perform close to Redhorn's level of power, which is quite a feat considering how strong Redhorn is on Ito. The only problem though is that this weapon, along with almost every other weapon option for Ito, is locked behind your wallet. You have to buy the battle pass to obtain Serpent Spine. Luckily though, that's not too big of a deal because Ito does have access to a respectable free to play weapon, White Blind. White Blind is a craftable 4 star claymore and it's a nice option for Ito because of the very high defense bonus it grants to him and while the passive is difficult for Ito to make use of if you're using 4 piece husk, the weapon is still one of Ito's better options for the decent base attack and high defense stat alone. And luckily you don't need to refine this weapon for Ito because like I said he has a hard time making use of the passive until the second rotation onwards but refinements do help, even if only a little. Other mentionable weapons for Ito include Skyward Pride because of the ER substat allowing you to focus all of his rolls into offensive stats, as well as the weapon's high base attack and decent passive. Black Cliff Slasher is also decent, but you have to spend Star Glitter to obtain it, and if you do, I don't recommend refining it, as it becomes extremely expensive to do so. Overall, Ito's weapon options are limited, but because of White Blind, he does have a reliable fallback option for those who don't have his costly alternatives. Finally, moving on to team comping, my favorite. In regards to Ito's best teams, it's almost exclusively mono geo or triple geo teams because of Goro, a 4 star support. I'm gonna leave a link to a very in depth video discussing why and how Goro works so well with Ito, but for simplicity in this video, Goro is essentially Ito's best support and buffer, and he causes Ito to work very well in teams of 3 or 4 Geo units because of Goro's triple Geo unit buff. So let's discuss some of Ito's most suitable teammates. After Ito, you'll 100% want Goro as your second character slot for the massive buffs he provides to Ito as well as his nice energy circulation, but if you don't have Goro, you can substitute him with a C2 Ningguang or Geo Traveler for somewhat similar buffing and battery effects. As for the third Geo character, slot, Albedo is by leaps and bounds your best option because he also benefits fully from Goro's kit and as such provides high off-field geo damage and consistent particle generation for the team. But you can also substitute him with Geo Traveler for similar off-field damage and particle generation or Zhongli for a completely different role, playing the role of a shielder and utility unit. I should probably clarify that neither Noel nor Yunjin are compatible with Ito despite being Geo units either because of their own on-field needs or just generally incompatible kits. For the fourth character slot, this is where you you can decide to commit to full mono geo or branch off and allow for some interesting and flexible team building with triple geo. If you want to stick with mono geo, any of the aforementioned and recommended geo characters can fill the slot, but the best character would be Zhongli, as he provides a very reliable shield and decent resistance shred, which rounds out the team nicely overall. But if you don't have Zhongli to fill this fourth geo character slot, or he's already occupying your third geo character slot, I'd almost exclusively recommend branching out into triple geo instead of forcing mono geo. Because no other geo unit provides a shield to Ito, besides Noelle, and hers has a horrible downtime in a team where she isn't the main DPS. So, for the fourth character slot, my biggest recommendation, especially if Zhongli isn't one of your three Geo characters, is Diona for her ability to consistently shield Ito and activate Geo Resonance by extension, but she also provides healing and can build to be a buffer as well, providing a lot of utility in one character. I recommend Tolma for similar reasons as Diona as well, his shielding capabilities work decent enough with Ito, the only problem being his huge energy requirement and general lackluster utility before high constellations. However, if Zhongli is one of your three Geo units, that gives you some nice options for buffer or sub DPS units such as Bennett, who provides lots of heals and great damage buffs to Ito, and when paired with Goro's buffs, causes Ito's personal damage to reach huge, huge numbers. You could also use Yelan as a buffer of sorts, but keep in mind that she does have certain incompatibilities with Ito's kit, such as her inability to proc her burst attacks with the majority of his combo attacks, but her ramping damage buff is really nice, it's just kind of a weird combo. Fischl is also a really fun option because 
because of her energy battery capabilities and high single target electro damage, but she does have a difficult time balancing Oz's field time because of the way Ito's rotations work. Finally, while she's not in the game as of making this video, I do want to speculate a bit and say that while by no means an optimal fourth unit for Ito, Shinobu will likely be decent for him because of her likely very low field time requirement and her ability to heal teammates whilst also dealing electro damage. I don't know much about her though, so that's all I can really say regarding how she could work for Ito. Outside of triple and mono geo teams, however, Ito treads into much more unconventional team building, none of which is considered better than triple and mono geo. And while I don't think it's worth discussing them in this video, there are some really fun double geo Ito teams that are worth trying if you're bored or feeling explorative. Is that a word? I don't know. Anyways, I think I've explorated. Okay, that's not a word. I've explorated everything there is to explore regarding Ito as of 2.7 Genshin Impact. I'm wishing you all the best of luck bringing home Ongo Bongo Bonk Man, and I hope this video helps you learn how to master himself and his teams. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and consider subscribing, and also you should totally join my Discord server because we have an Ito shrine, and you can pray in it to bring Ito home. <coughs> Until next time, my beloved Geo enthusiasts, Dendro awaits!